Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to determine polarity when working on your vehicle's electrical system. Electrical polarity is used to determine which pole is positive or power and negative or ground. In many situations, it's important to determine which wire is positive or negative as this can affect how a circuit or component operates. If the polarity is wrong, meaning you have the positive and negative wires mixed up, whatever you connected may not work or it may cause permanent damage. Reverse polarity will not allow LEDs to work, cause a motor to turn in the opposite direction, etc. While you can refer to a vehicle's wiring diagram to determine polarity, it's always best to verify it yourself using the proper equipment, and I'll show you how to do this using a test light, digital multimeter, and analog multimeter. While I'm redoing the audio system in my truck, I am having to sort out which wire does what. Typically black was a standard choice for North American and Asian vehicles for negative. European vehicles would use black as a positive wire instead, and brown would be used as a negative wire color. But that has changed over the years due to standardization and more complexity of electrical systems. First using a test light, using the ground clamp, connected to a known ground source. This can be a known ground wire, engine, frame, body, brackets, or whatever else may be a main ground source on the vehicle. For this I'm using the metal bracing in behind the dashboard. I know this is a good ground source, as some of the wiring does have a main ground connection, as you can see here. Next is turning on the circuit if needed, then touch the terminal in the electrical connector. If you know what circuit is on, once that light illuminates, this is the power source. If it was a ground source, the light would not illuminate. Two negative sources or two positive sources will not allow a light to work. Using a known ground source as a process of elimination, the last touch source would be positive. Moving on to a digital multimeter, make sure the test probes are connected in their proper locations, then is setting the multimeter to the two digit DC voltage setting. A vehicle's electrical system uses DC, which means direct current. Here I'm using a trailer harness as an example. I already know the exposed terminal is ground. Touch the black probe on the ground terminal, then use a red probe, which is used for the positive, touch that on the other terminals. Once a reading is shown, a voltage is present. You should have a positive value reading. With the probes being in the correct location on the meter, black would be the negative and red would be the positive. If you have the test probes mixed up on the test source, so red would be on negative and black would be on the positive source, the multimeter will give a negative readout. Under the process of elimination, instead of using the plug as a ground source, you can use a generalized location, just like the test light. For this I managed to find a good ground source from a license plate bolt on the bumper. This is a good method for reducing any chance of making an error within a connector. And finally is using an analog meter. Again, the test probes will need to be in their correct positions. Set the meter to the DC voltage setting. In this case, instead of the multiple digit reading, each setting will max out at a certain value on the needle swipe. Being it's a 12 volt system, if we select 10, we would only max out at a readout of 10 volts. Therefore, you would never see anything above 10 volts as the current battery voltage or when testing on an alternator's output. So we'll need to set it up on the 50 instead and use the appropriate readout on the needle swipe. Touching the black on the ground terminal and the red on the positive, here you can see the voltage is present. Again, you can also have the black probe on a known ground source, such as what I shown previously with the license plate bolt. Here's where the analog meter shows its strength is when testing for a signal wire. This can be used for a pulse circuit such as a signal bulb, Hall effect sensor, etc. I have turned on the four-way flashers again touching the black probe on the ground terminal and the red probe on the positive flasher terminal. Here you can see the pulse on the analog meter. Switching the meter over to the 10 volt setting, here you can see a more prominent needle movement. You can get a clean noticeable movement here. If you had the test probes reversed, the black on the positive and the red on the negative, the needle would move in the opposite direction. Keep in mind, depending on the meter, this may cause damage, such as bending the needle, which is why it's always good to connect to a known ground source with the correct probe. If we were to use a digital multimeter for checking a pulse signal, 
While a reading is shown, the values will jump around and this may not provide an accurate reading or work on something like a Hall effect sensor. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.